Good afternoon. My name is Lee Goodmark, and I am a professor of law and the director of the Gender Violence Clinic here at the University of Maryland Carey School of Law. Today we're going to talk a little bit about family law, what the practice of family law is like, what the course offerings we have here at the law school are, um, and some about my clinic, which does some family law work and a great deal of gender violence work. So very much looking forward to hearing any questions that you may have. Please feel free to ask them at any time. We can take them as we go, or we can take them after we talk a little bit. And if I can't answer your questions, the admissions office surely can. So you may see a sign telling you to call the admissions office if there's something that I can't answer. I have been a family law attorney uh, since I graduated from law school, more or less. I went to law school thinking that I wanted to do children's work and quickly learned that children existed in families and that those families often had problems that if properly dealt with could make children's lives better. And so starting in 1995, um, I started working on family law issues. I was a public interest lawyer. I was working at a small place um, doing work with the families uh, in the District of Columbia. And we do everything as family lawyers. The practice is incredibly diverse. So you on any given day could find yourself doing an adoption you might be working on divorce or custody or child support or marital property. You might be looking at juvenile justice issues. You might be dealing with gender violence issues, um, working on a protective order case um, in a domestic violence issue, for example. And so the practice really kind of runs the gamut um, across a number of different areas. It's also inc increasingly a really international practice. So while you might find yourself in a local court litigating a child custody matter, you might also find yourself in federal district court litigating an international parental kidnapping case. There's also a transactional aspect to family law. There's the drafting of prenuptial agreements and cohabitation agreements. There's looking at division of marital property upon divorce. There's mediation. As more and more cases are resolved through alternative dispute resolution, family law mediators are increasingly popular. And there's collaborative law, which is an up and coming branch of the law that looks at law as less adversarial and more collaborative, as the name would suggest. And particularly in the family law context, collaborative law is increasingly popular. So we say family law as if it's one thing, but it's really a, a pretty broad range of things and lots of different areas for you to explore. Um, and you can specialize in family law as well. And so if your interest is in the LGBT community, uh, there are family lawyers who work specifically with that community, thinking about what happens to children um, when they need second parent adoptions, or what happens when you move between states that recognize those adoptions and states that don't. Um, there are people like me who specialize in gender violence and who only really work with clients who've experienced some form of violence, whether that's sexual assault and rape, or domestic violence, or trafficking. And so the diversity in the practice is really quite amazing, which means that you never really get bored with it. There's always something else to do. So as I said, I started as a legal services lawyer, um, and during that time I handled divorces and custody matters and child support matters and marital property. I did adoptions, um, both contested adoptions and adoptions where everybody was on the same page. I worked in child welfare a little bit, doing child abuse and neglect cases, um, which is another facet of family law that you might find interesting. I did international parental kidnapping cases on the rare occasion that they showed up in our practice. Um, and I've done a lot of work around domestic violence, particularly among intimate partners. Um, for the last 20 years, I've had the opportunity to work with thousands of clients. Family law practice is unbelievably rewarding. Um, it's about storytelling, it's about counseling, it's about helping people through some of the most difficult matters that they'll deal with in some of the most intimate relationships in their lifetime. It's about caring for people, um, it's about caring for yourself as well and making sure that you uh, stay healthy as you're inter involved in that practice of law. So lots to think about. Um, lots to do, and we here at the University of Maryland Carey School of Law, we prepare you pretty well to go into that practice. So in addition to the general survey course on family law, which I teach, um, we also have classes on children and divorce. Uh, we have a class on gender violence in the law. We have a class on elder law. We have a class on working with children um, who have special needs. We have classes on marital property and divorce litigation and on reproductive justice. And we also have a class on collaborative law, which really does teach you the skills that you'll need if you want to go into that branch of things. Our mediation clinic works on mediations involving family law matters. And my clinic, the Gender Violence Clinic, does a lot of family law as well. 
Let me tell you just a little bit about the Gender Violence Clinic. So in my clinic, um, we will work on any case where gender and violence touch each other in any way. And so we work on things ranging from domestic violence protective orders to name and gender identity marker changes to custody and child support and divorce cases um, to cases for women seeking parole um, who've been the victims of gender violence. And like I said, the one thing that unifies all of those cases is the experience of gender violence. So I'm happy to take any questions that you might have about the practice of family law, um, which is, as I said, kind of never endingly interesting. Um, most people who go to law school think to themselves, I never wanna do family law. Um, they may have been through a bad divorce in their own family. They may have seen other people experiencing problems with their families and think, oh, this is not for me. But when you sit through a family law class, what you find is that it's fascinating that more than many areas of the law, it's very easy to empathize with the people involved. It's easy to see the real stories that are there, um, to get kind of engaged in a way that it's harder to get engaged, say, with a contract. Um, although I should say that family law is uh, organized quite a bit around contract in some of its areas. And so people find it fascinating. And of course, there's also celebrity family law, which we do a lot with. Um, you know, if people are, are, have uh, interesting clauses in their prenuptial agreements, we look at those kinds of things. Um, we looked at Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's recent custody battle. So all of those kinds of interesting things are the kinds of things that we're talking about in family law. If you have questions, now would be a great time to ask them. So contact information. Um, nobody has questions, which is great, but you should feel free to ask us questions at any time. You can certainly contact me. Um, you can reach me at l-g-o-o-d-m-a-r-k at law.umaryland.edu, or you can give me a call at 410-706-3549, and you can reach the Office of Admissions at admissions at law.umaryland.edu, or give them a call at 410-706-3492. Thanks so much for spending some time with us today.